kind of a rainy day today looking out the place from the greenhouse okay I've got uh, some squash here I wanted to show you and what I'm trying to do is grow it up a string a tomato twine string similar to what I've done in uh, with the tomatoes and peppers and whatnot but um, squash vines uh, depending on which variety uh, some vine like crazy like the trombone squash and some are so-called bush but they also vine just very slowly so we'll get in here close um, this is a hybrid squash here called Zephyr and the one next to it is zucchini Romanesco and what you can see here is that there's several squash on this and it's vining up it is out to here already coming back around and down and as it gets taller I lift it up like this and attach it to the string um, squash as you can see there uh, a lot of the leaves are cut off but squash puts out a lot of leaves and leaves on squash plants are susceptible to powdery mildew and they're a good place for squash bugs to hide and all that even though it's not such a big deal in the greenhouse the problem with squash leaves in the greenhouse is obviously they take up a lot of space so what I'm doing here is just basically attempting to see if I can get good production out of squash in a smaller footprint and one half of an 18 gallon tote is what I'm doing for each one of these and if it works I'll add another plant over there on the other side um, I hope that these will continue to grow and I can even get more aggressive with cutting the leaves we'll see how that works if you look here when you cut a leaf it heals over and it seems to to not hurt the plant too much it might slow the growth some um, but that's about all I can see from the negative impact of cutting the leaves so here is the zucchini and it is up to here I've got a baby squash there one here one here and I've cut off several now I notice with the zucchini and with the other squash uh, I might as well tell you, you gotta hand pollinate um, which takes a little bit of effort it's not that much you'll see that squash there right here this one is the one I just pollinated all I did was I pulled a male flower off from like here and pricked it off and just stuck it in the stigma there but it's throwing off zucchinis like mad see there's a little bitty one and thing is that the zucchini are not uh, setting the little fruits are coming out but they're not setting fruit it's not pollinating and continuing to grow is what I mean but you'll see here the zephyrs are and I've also planted some yellow crooked neck which my wife loves the most um, and we're going to see how those go but that's an update on what I'm doing with the squash and you know the growth is controlled left and right so I can get down and do what I need to do uh, so I'll keep you updated on the progress of the squash